Alright, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tyler Goes Fishing. I'm Tyler. Today I'm going fishing with my old man over there. He's setting up, uh, aka Fishing Santa Claus. We were at this uh, location. Can't tell you where it is. It's a private pond and uh, hopefully we're going to be able to catch some nice bass in here. There are some solid bass in here and uh, it's been a little while since I've done some bass fishing. So fingers crossed. My dad's got some live bait he's setting up over there and uh, we're just going to hope for a good day. See, I brought three bass rods with me and one ultralight. So if bass fishing doesn't work out, maybe we can go after some of the other fish there in here. Ooh, I got a huge layer of sunblock on. Can you rub that in? So the water is a little murky, but we have this little pink guy here. We're going to try that out. All right, y'all. So I just caught my first fish, and I just realized that my GoPro was in the wrong video mode it was in time lapse so i still technically caught it on video but there's no audio and it's like a little fast maybe i could just slow it down when i edit the video but uh, i caught like a little 10 inch bass or so uh right next to some structure and um on a, the little pink grub that I, I i showed you earlier uh it's just unfortunate that uh i had the camera in the wrong mode so enjoy the time lapse footage of me catching this fish <laughs> All right, well, at the very least, I've proven that one bass is hungry today. And I am not getting skunked. Let's see if there's more of them over here. Letting this grub go right down there. There's definitely some more structure down there, more vegetation, because I can feel it. And like I said, there's a lot of vegetation, but... If there's one thing I'll say about bass fishing, it is to move around just because I caught a bass right there at that sunken dock doesn't mean I need to stay there for two hours and try to catch another one. Keep moving. Keep trying. Throw in any spot that looks juicy. Right now it's all along these lily pads here. It's maybe like a foot or two deep in all these areas, which is plenty of, plenty of space for a nice tank of a bass to be chilling, waiting for something small like this to swim in front of its face. The water actually looked dirtier than it, than it actually is. It actually looks pretty good. When we parked the car and walked over here, we were like, oh no, but this actually is not too bad. Okay, looks like it might have gotten a little bit farther. Well, I had it in that far. Oh. Um, I guess it could have been the lily pad, like, moving. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, something moved pretty good. There it is. There you go. Oh, it's a crappie. crappie. <laughs> All right. Ten minutes of work for that crappie. Nice. I'll take it. Yeah. That was on a shiner. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. They are crappy size shiners. You want a photo? No. All right. It's pretty black, though. Yeah. It's pretty good. Right. Look at this thing. <laughs> I tell you, some places at Smith Mountain Lake, you need that. Because it's all that freaking rock. I mean, it makes sense to make it. Like, it's... Yeah. You said it was a pool cleaner thing? Yeah. Clean out pool. Or to catch fish that are far away. Well, there you go, Santa Claus. His right. first fish of the day. I'm sweaty just watching it. I was in the shade fishing and I had to go over there to watch that. 10 minutes of dragging that fish through lily pads. But you know what? That kind of makes me want to throw my ultralight out. Got this little sucker tied on. It's a perfect, perfect crappie size. Maybe I'll just fish my way back over there. Whee! I wouldn't mind a crappie today. Fish. There we go, small bass on a little ultralight. Oh, bye fella. Oh yeah, you're in there. That's cool, on a little, the little grub thing right here. Uh, white and chartreuse, chartreuse tail. Yeah, everybody, a little white grub with chartreuse split tail. I usually use this for like ultralight fishing with um, 
on the James, like catching like a bunch of red breasts and other things. Oh, there's a couple, there's some small fish right there. Maybe some bluegills chilling. Maybe they'll be crappies. Let's see. Oh, oh. Got it. Something. Something else after the little grub. Oh, it's a bluegill. Second species. Little bluegill. Sweet. Got him. Whoa. I think it was another bluegill, but he uh, he came flying out of that water. Yeah. Yeah, there's a whole school over here. There we go. Whoa, what do we got here? Oh, it's another bass. Yeah. They're like eight inches or so. Very cool. These little guys are hanging out eating today. I mean, I'll take I'll take small bass all day. All day. Here we go. Teeny little bluegill. Teeny little bluegill. Oh, oh my god, buddy, buddy no, buddy no, uh, uh, no, there you go, I should have just picked him up like a man, ooh, there we go, there we go, there we go, yeah, yeah, well, maybe not, it's not too bad, Oh, my foot's gonna get wet. Yep. Come on. Yeah. Oh, my foot got wet, but it was worth it. <laughs> oh, I tripped and I hurt my knee. That's amazing. Ah, oh, on a spinner bait. Spinner bait with no uh, trailer, just regular. Here we go. Uh, uh, maybe about, maybe about a pound and a half, I don't know. It's been a million years since I caught a bass, so I don't even remember. Uh, there we go, solid. Let me grab a photo with this guy. All right, sucker. Thank you for playing. Take a look at my shoe, it's all wet. The entire, the entire thing, oh well. Oh well, that is uh, the biggest bass of the day so far. On this little chartreuse and orange spinner bait, which is all covered up in weeds. I think this is one of the cheap Walmart ones. You got something over there? You want the net? No, there we go. Yeah, that's the biggest one of the day. All right. Yeah, maybe a pound and a half. <laughs> Get down there. What, what a jump, man! It looked fantastic. I, I think it's a little bit bigger than the one I just got. Yeah. There you go. All right. That's definitely bigger than mine. Yeah, not bad. Here, let me hold it. Mhm. Mm hold it up. There you go. Sweet. All right. Boy, I think attacked it, boy. Yeah. Big splash. And that, you didn't see the jump. Uh, I, I saw a splash after the jump yeah, from over there. When it first came out, I thought, oh, that's huge. Yeah. Well, so that's bass on a lot of things. Mine was just on a spinner bait. Yours was on the pre rigged. The pre rigged. That was the cream. Yeah. Yeah. And mine was the Walmart spinner bait. So it's, that's a lot for Walmart, <laughs> Walmart baits today. You see, look at my shoe. It's all done. It's all good. Huh. I'm going to haul. Got one. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know yet. <laughs> nah. Sweet. Oh yeah. On a little teeny white worm thing right there. That's about the 
size of the other one. Yep. Sweet. That's two decent bass for today. Awesome. And I didn't have to get my foot wet. Where you go. All right. I'm not sure how much time we got left. It's uh, sun's going down pretty good, but we still got a little bit of time. And Santa Claus over there keeps catching little dinky bass off of this uh, pre-rigged uh, cream worm. I've been catching them on a variety of different things. In fact, I don't think I've caught a bass on the same thing twice. <laughs> Yeah, this, that bass hit this guy right as it hit the water pretty much, right next to the lily pads. <sighs> awesome. Good day so far. I was almost considering going back to ultralight just to see if I can get myself a crappie. Kind of still might, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's something. What do we got here? Oh, it's a crappie. Right. Awesome, what I wanted too. There we go, nice little crappie. Oh. Let's get a nice little picture of this feller. All right, I was trying to catch a crappie tonight on my ultralight and I finally got one. Thankfully, the night's about to end, but we got him. So we're gonna let him go. Boom. <laughs> That night crawler was sitting on the bottom for a while and yeah. came to check on it and holy crap. That's a big head for a smaller body. Yeah, it it could, it could get a little fatter. <laughs> I don't know how long he's been on that hook. Wee! But my line was out there and he was over there. <laughs> <laughs> Got something. Get away from there. There we go. <laughs> no! That's a bluegill, but it's he's on the... He got my line stuck on the thing. There we go. Another gill for the record. There we go. Oh, there's something. Oh, that's a little bass again. Nice. This ultralight's killing it with a small bass. It's gotta be like the third little dinker on this. Sweet. Heck yeah. Very nice. All right, I got a bigger bass on my ultralight here. It's not a huge bass, but for my ultralight, this is going to be difficult. You see him? Yep. Hey, on my ultralight, look at that. I'll grab it. Sweet. Unfortunately, it looks like I missed the hook set on the camera, but oh well. I saw him come out from the lily pads and grab it, and I was like, oh no. Solid. Heck yeah. That's healthy for its size. Yeah, you're right. That's awesome. Yeah, let me grab a photo. He came out from the lily pads right there. Came out like two feet, grabbed the lure, and I was like, oh no. All right, feller. Sweet. Heck yeah. Got a little guy. A little crappie? A little crappie. Little guy. It's an itty bitty crappie right there. Whee! Sweet. Well, unless the old man Santa Claus over there catches a, uh, another good one, I think this is going to be end of the part one of this video. We're going to go fishing again tomorrow, so I think it'll just kind of be two parts. Uh, so if there is two parts, I'll see you in 10 seconds. If not, thanks for watching. Peace out. <laughs>